This is not the first time I built a creation with only the inventory of a LEGO Technic set, also called a B model or alternate model. I have done this three times for the 42082 with a wheel loader, forklift truck and the off-road truck and I made it again with the 42100 with a Vibrosis truck, a tracked carrier and the model of the day, a container handling vehicle. So, let's see today how this model works and how I design it. This model used 2697 pieces on the 4108 pieces from the donor set, which result in a 54 cm long, 21 cm wide and 22 cm height for about 3 kg model. It embed two Bluetooth Technic hub to control six motors for five motorized function and is removed with the Power Up app from LEGO with a custom profile. The inspiration model was the Hoshkosh truck with the palletized system on the back, but of course with tracks instead of wheels. The first function is the drive. It is made with one XL motor per axle, so two XL motor on the total, which drive the sprocket through gearings. Nothing particular here except that the layout of the gearing between the front and the rear are not the same due to the available space but result in the same ratio. The steering is more interesting. To compare with my previous alternate model using the 42100, I wanted to experiment with steering knuckle instead of articulated steering or crawling steering. So, I decided to create a custom steering knuckle with the universal join inside for the drivetrain and connect them with a road on the front. Then, a L motor drives a small linear actuator which operates on the right knuckle by pushing or pulling on it and the connecting road transmits the motion to the other knuckle. No Hackerman steering here because no need with the low friction of the tracks. The steering wheel inside the cabin is also connected to the steering mechanism. First, the motion of the motors go outside the actuator's axle on a gear, where the cabin goes on the top with another gear which mesh, and then the motion is transmitted inside the cabin to the steering wheel using bevel gear and U-join. This mesh with spur gears underneath the cabin enable to lift the whole cabin with all the steering gears which will only be connected when the cabin is in place. It avoids basically to bring the motion near the cabin rotation center. To finish with the moving function, you can see that each bogey is articulated thanks to a mini turntable. It was indeed mandatory to follow the uneven terrain. Even if the model is not suitable for off-roading, Fixed bogey create a lot of stress on the bogey and chassis on uneven terrain because of their length. Before talking about the container function, let's talk about the openable element near the cabin. First, as mentioned before, the cabin can be tilted on the front, which reveals nothing particular than easy accessing to the steering gears. But it gives more space to open the rear hood, which reveals the front hub front hub that can be removed easily to change the battery with extra length of the cable. On the cabin, the door can be open of course, but they reveal a nice feature which is the automatic ladders. Indeed, I wanted to create something like that because the model is very high considering the scale, so I have made many prototypes to finally keep the simplest and the most reliable, which is basically an articulated ladder fixed inside the doors. The gravity pull it to the ground and the collision with the chassis on the cabin fold it. Simple, effective and very nice to play with. Let's focus on the middle of the model with the container holding function which are composed of three movements, two for the arm and one for the locking device. The first section of the container arm is operated by two being linear actuators which are driven by a central XL motor on bevel gearing. These linear actuators are placed inside the chassis at the lowest possible point to create an angle to have more force on the arm and the rocker travel, which is 0 to 90 degrees. This is the main function which handles the weight when loading and unloading the containers. 
The second section of the container arm used also a big linear actuators but with an embed L motor and more importantly a special care on the design. Indeed, it has to be the smallest in thickness as possible because of the available space but also have a flat top design because of the container which goes on it and with the Rockroyan motion which is about 0 to 100 degrees. It is made by placing the linear actuators underneath the arm with a small angle which goes bigger when the arm is operated. In that way, the maximum of force is when the second arm is 90 degrees when pulling the containers and the weakest when it is horizontal and that the gravity helps. You can note also how the different beams of the structures merge with the motor and gearing fixation to ensure a flat surface for sliding the container easily. You can see here the second technique up underneath the arm. It is powered on by pushing the button underneath, but have an access to the battery on the top and can be removed if needed because not part of the structures. Let's talk finally about the lock-in device. I have created this function because when I test the model, due to the vibration of the tracks during the drive, it shakes the container which was not very nice to see. So, I added this locking device which is basically two locating pins which goes up and down to secure the container. It is driven by a L motor located at the rear which drives gears with clutch made of a pin and red gears which drive two small arms with the pin on it. On the container, there are just holes with frictionless pin to guide the locating pin when centering the container because the container do not often positioning itself on the same position, so the system has to work with that. On the side and rear, I add visual indicators of the position of the locking device with the small red pieces which go up and down when locking or not. To finish with the container, it is fairly standard based on the modified version of the Macantem LEGO Technic set to shoot the original set part and have two locking doors at the back. It is empty for weight concern but you can fill with more detail with the leftover parts if you want. Also, the model is fully compatible with the original stickers of the Lieber if you have already applied them and the building instruction will guide you on which part to select on each step using stickers. Let's conclude with a global appreciation. Well, I am happy with the result. The function was good, the set is playable and it changed from the previous model I have done. This is the same inventory but with many different approaches in terms of drawing, steering, design, so it is still interesting to me. The only drawbacks to me is the lack of the off-roading capabilities and the large turning radius, mainly due to the friction of the tracks and the long wheelbase. On the design, as usual, I wish I had more white and dark grey connector to have the best and cleanest look as possible in a way that this is my imagination which drives the design and not only the part restriction. But it is often like that when you work on alternate model. Nevertheless, I have to say that I am really happy with the treatment of the surface in terms of finishing and color. At final, it gives a great look on the truck with some detail which look functional. I am also very happy with the way I handle the stickers, the placement of the hub and the cabal management, which is easier on that model compared to the previous one, but it is more a minor enhancement. I let you decide if you like the design or not, if the work deserves your attention. Thanks for your feedback on the first video, you totally love the small automatic ladder, as I do, and I thank you for all your comments. You can find the link in the description for the instruction, which includes also the tutorial to create the custom profile to operate it, and also the two other alternate models I have done, as well as many other models on my website, with, as usual, discount for bundle. Take care, play well, bye.